Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to this card making project. And this project is very special because it's my 400th Anna Griffin project. And I thought we would do something a little bit outrageous with our products this time. And just to kind of prove that you can add a bit of texture paste and you can do a bit of stenciling and still incorporate your Anna Griffin products. A lot of people on social media always say, oh, they're too old fashioned for me. Or, oh, I prefer mixed media. I prefer doing this, that and the other. Well, how about kind of merging everything together and doing something that's traditional with a touch of mixed media? So that's what we're going to do today. Everything I do use I shall put on the detailed description on my blog because I'm bound to forget something, especially because we've got quite a few products that we're using on this um, project. So I shall do my very best to remember them as we go through, but if I don't, they'll be on my blog. Feel free to comment, feel free to say um, what you think, whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whether you've tried mixed media, whether you've used texture paste with any of your other, um projects with any of your Anna items and I did have a texture paste kit over in the US we weren't lucky enough to have it over here but you never know um work with what you have in your stash if you've got texture paste from a different company don't worry about it try it see see how you get on so the first thing we're going to need for our splendid 400th project is a large card. This is an 8 by 8 card. This is the largest card and you'll notice I've backed away from my 7 by 5 for this one. So we're going to make something that's outstanding, something that's big, something that makes a statement and I wanted a big card for that. If for any reason you're across the pond or wherever you live, if you have difficulty I've actually, I don't want to turn this into a selling project, I have got some downloads of 8x8 cards that are available to purchase directly from me um, if you have trouble, which means you can print out a design, stick it together and you've got an 8x8 card. Very simple and very easy and very affordable because you can use it over and over again. So that's kind of like the housekeeping out of the way. So this is a base card of 8x8 and I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp edge along the side. Even though it's a larger card, we still do this because we want to have that nice neat crease when it's stood up. So the first thing we're going to do is our inside. So the inside is very important um, we want people because they they read the cards they open the card and read them so everybody sees the outside so it's got to be pretty it's got to stand out but the inside is specifically for the person you're giving it to nobody else might see the inside so you want them to feel that you've created the inside with as much love as the outside that's how I look at it and this card is no different this is going to be a splendidious inside and I just think you're going to love it. The first thing I've done is I've taken a piece of white cardstock and all I've done is I've used Anna's sentiment stamps and dies and I've stamped in the middle and it says happy birthday. Now I've also used a stencil to stencil along the edge. This isn't one of Anna's stencils, it's one of mine that I've had quite a while. And I've stenciled a harlequin pattern in um, a pink ink, use, you know, using a pink ink. And then I've just inked the two opposite corners. I've used black stays on for the sentiment in the middle. And so we can add this to our card. Now, if you want, you could leave it like this. It's still a great insert as it is. But because this project, we're going for the ultimate card. We're, you know, that looks great, but we're going for Splendifious. And that is my word. 
So where we've got our stamp sentiment in the middle, I'm going to use one of Anna's fancy layers. And I must apologise if I'm getting the name of this wrong. It's a long time since I've seen the title for it. So it's a whole bunch of frames and layers um, going from small through to 12 by 12. And what I've done is, again, I've stenciled the Harley Quinn in the corners of this. And I've used black ink to make it stand out. I've got double sided tape on the back of this. And this is not the smallest of the frames from the fancy, fr fancy frame layers. But it's the next one up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it over the centre of our sentiment that we've already stamped. To kind of frame it like that and then I've got two of the favourite flower stickers in pink roses and I'm going to peel the backs of them away I've left them as 3D stickers because for this insert we're going for impact and I'm going to simply position them through opposite corners and I'll peel the back of the second one away, like so. And pop that to that side. And that is our insert finished. And I think that's magnificent. We've left our 3D stickers as 3D stickers, so they've got height on them for the insert. So when you close it, it probably won't close to but it just gives that little bit of extra height. We've got our stenciling with our Harlequin pattern that makes it stand out and the stenciling in the corners. It's going to work so well with the front of the card. Now what we're going to do is we're still going to use our bone folder along this edge, being very careful because we've got our 3D stickers inside. So we don't want to squash those, but we do want the crease to stay nice and neat. So the first thing for the outside is one of the fancy layer frames. And it's not the largest size, it's the next size down. It's slightly larger than 8 by 8 so it's going to overhang our card slightly. Now, when we're finished, you would probably... Um, you probably would be able to get it in the 8x8 envelope or you might need to um, create an 8x8 box. Now 8x8 boxes are available on that great auction site uh, because I have some but there's none to be designed because of the size of them if that makes sense. So I think you'd probably be great with an envelope. I think it will probably still go in to push. Um, definitely want um, a padded envelope, maybe anyway. So that's our base layer of the front of our card. Next, I've taken a piece of the rose designer paper. Now this is a scrap piece of, of the rose collection. It's my favourite paper or should I say one of them because to be quite honest Anna designed a paper a long time ago called Blackbird and that is my ultimate favourite and uh, I should use it more on projects but I like to sit and look at it and stroke it just like you look and stroke all your collection I'm just the same so I'm putting this rose designer collection sheet um, through the centre and as I say, it was scrap, you can see the corner's gone, but I, I need this bit. So I'm not worried about this, because we're going to cover that bit up. So that's our next layer. Now we introduce our mixed media. This is one of Anna's um, metallic foil layers. It's 6x6 six six inches in size, and it was a solid foil layer. I've cut the centre out 
and then using the same stencil I used for the centre, the Harlequin scent stencil, I've used black texture paste and then let it dry and you can see I'm not the best at using texture paste. I'll, I'll be free to admit that I'm, you know, a messy pup. But that doesn't matter, you're not going to see it because we're going for just the texture and the slight look of this. With this being slightly different, you know, it's not something that I'm looking for perfection. And you can see from the back, I'm just as messy on the back as the front. I've got 3D foam on the back of this and I'm going to position it through the centre of the card like so trying to kind of get it evenly if you're hearing cricks that's my chair trying to get it evenly through the centre there we go so that's the start of it looks like a great would make a great picture frame wouldn't it so next I'm going to add the sentiment in the middle now this was the sentiment from the centre of the frames, the fancy frames. And it says, best wishes today and always. I've simply taken the notches off it and I've added 3D foam on the back of it. And I'm covering the rose designer paper because we're only going to see a small section of it put peeking out from behind the sentiment, if that makes sense. I must stop saying that if that makes sense. Of course it makes sense. So that's our sentiment in the centre. So you can just see the pattern paper behind it. Press it down nice and firm. So next we've taken some of our favourite stickers, our favourite flower stickers, and we're going to peel the back of them away and these are all the rose stickers and there's two different sizes that we're using and we're using the four flowers that we're going to add over our sentiment like that and just have that little bit of black poking out and four again, four of the roses and I think we'll add this one to this section, like uh, here or here. I think we'll go here. That's a little bit different, like that. Let's press them down. And then we've got the three roses. Again, peel the back of it away and add it to our card so you're actually only seeing the very edge of the texture that you've added now in this corner I've made a, a quadruple bow with black and red ribbon and I've added a square gem so this is something that I've had um, myself rather than it's not one of Anna's embellishments so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue so that it will sit firmly on the side of our card like that and then the last thing I have is a little die cut heart now it's a die cut I've had myself but I've stamped it using Anna's sentiment dies and stamps I've got it on two rows of 3D foam and I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of glue on the foam and I'm going to attach it underneath the ribbon like that. Now the heart itself, I've double heat embossed it in gold. You could use any of your gold um, heat embossing powders it wouldn't matter that's going to need a few minutes to stick so it might slip a little when I hold it up and that's our card finished very pretty very eye-catching 
we've got the contrast from the black with the mixed major using texture paste. We've got the gorgeous frame, our beautiful roses, our background paper just peeking through with the sentiment. We've got our gold heart with our extra sentiment just for you. And then we've got our gorgeous inside that matches perfectly. And it's just such a pretty card. I want to stand it up, so, but I don't want the heart to drop off. So we'll give it a go. Uh, we don't want the ribbon to drop off either. Stands up nicely. Ooh, don't stand it up any longer till it dries. I think it would be better with a padded envelope, this one, because it's a little bit higher. We've got lots of layers on it. And I think to protect it, it will look better when you know your loved one opens it because you don't want to have it squashed and it's just such a perfect card for our 400th project together I love making them I hope you love watching them as much as I love making them um, I never get tired of that you know I'm asked questions all the time do I ever get stuck for ideas? No, I, I never do. Um, something always pops into my head. Um, another question I'm asked, what's my favourite product? All of them. I can't narrow it down to say, you know, what's my favourite one? Uh, what's my favourite project? Somebody asked me. Uh, again, all of them. There's so many different ones and they all have something different about them and then somebody asked me about my inspiration where do I get my inspiration from it just happens it just comes at me it just it's there morning noon and night and it's just one of those things it's in me I love creating whether it's designing or making projects or whatever I do and I just hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So I'd like to say thank you for being with me for 400 projects. That's quite awesome. And, you know, if I could thank each and every one of you individually, I would. So thank you. And please feel free to comment. If you've got anything to say, feel free. Please share. Please share. <laughs> If you want to share all my projects, please do. But if you just want to share one, that would be fantastic. Because let's reach as many people as we can with crafting. Because it's such a great hobby. So thank you for watching. And I shall see you for Project 401.